tough act to follow. Sorry, Gene and Mike, you have your work cut out for you today. Excellent, both of you, thank you. York Traditions Bank is celebrating its 15th anniversary. They are a thriving hometown bank with $435 million in assets and soon to be six branches, as well as an administrative headquarters located right here in their community, the community named after them. No, not really. <laughs> they would like to think that. <laughs> its founder and chairman of the board, Mike Kockenauer, has enjoyed a 45-year career in banking with National Central Bank and its successors, Hamilton, Core States, and First Union, as well as Drover's Bank. His experience in several leadership positions equipped Mike to become founder and chairman of York Traditions Bank and serve in the roles of president until 2015 and CEO until 2017. A York native, Mike volunteers his leadership and commitment to the, to the community in many, many ways and has, he's benefited several organizations, including the passport chair of the American Red Cross, passport chair of the Burns Health Education Center, Chair of the Governance Committee at the Appel Center for the Performing Arts, and Treasurer of the York County Bar Association Foundation, just to name a few. He also serves as a mentor for Leadership York. In 2016, Mike was selected as the Independent Community Bankers of America Community Banker of the Year East, and this year he was the recipient of the York County Economic Alliance Business Achievement Award. He also received the Martin Library Honors Award for leadership and support of literacy in York County Libraries. Jean Draganowski joined York Traditions Bank in 2008 and has over 30 years of banking experience and leadership. Prior to his promotion to CEO in January, Jean's roles for the bank included Chief Community Banking Officer, Chief Lending Officer, and Chief Credit Officer. His previous industry service included Regional President York Adams Counties at Sovereign Bank, Executive Vice President of Commerce Bank York Division, and Senior <laughs> Relationship Manager at First Union. Jean holds an MBA from Loyola College and a Bachelor of Science in Finance from LaSalle. He's a member of the PA Bankers Association Professional Development Committee and Group 5 member. Jean provides leadership on the boards of the York County Industrial Development Authority, Appel Center for the Performing Arts, York County Libraries, Better York, and Graham Center for Entrepreneurial Leadership Studies at Penn State York. He has served as board chair of several organizations, including Junior Achievement and the former York County Chamber of Commerce. Both Rotarians, Mike and Jean, demonstrate a strong commitment to community and service. Fellow Rotarians and guests, Please join me in welcoming York Traditions Bank founder and chairman, Mike Kockenauer, and CEO, Jean Draganowski. Congratulations, uh, Laura and Jesse. Thanks for your leadership and for sharing your vision, and it's an honor to share the podium with you today. And congratulations to your parents. Good afternoon, fellow Rotarians. What a privilege for Gene and me to talk to our home club. The mission of Rotary is extremely important to our organization. Uh, we actually have 10 members of our team that are members of Rotaries across York County. And service above self is certainly embedded in our core values. Thank you for the opportunity of inviting us to speak on the occasion of our 15th anniversary. I don't think we founded LinkedIn back in 2002, do we? <laughs> Many of you have heard our story before. In fact, you're a part of our story as our colleagues, neighbors, and friends. Because we live here too, it's not just a slogan, it's who we are. I mean, it's been a tremendous privilege to start a bank in your hometown. independent banks that at one time were in York that were no longer here. There was really a place and a compelling need uh, for uh, people and across our community to have a true local choice. There was no longer a bank with the name York. I am proud to be a York County. I have always uh, seen York as this is my home, this is where I want to make a difference. And, and I really believe that we have a special quality of life here. When you have a visionary like Mike, 
who sees the need and the good that corporations can do, from them giving dollars to their associates rolling up their sleeves and getting involved in United Way Day of Caring and other activities in the community, it means an incredible amount to the businesses and the organizations of people that live here. This bank wasn't about me. This bank is about creating a long-term legacy and bringing a value proposition to our community that should last for decades. Mike Kockenauer and I had worked together in a past life and uh, I knew that uh, any bank that Mike was going to be involved with uh, was going to really be very special. Mike is the epitome of leadership by example and servant leadership. His love for York is what really um, carries the day. He's very approachable. He has an uncanny knack for knowing what people need to really grow and advance in their career. He knows what to say to people, to put them at ease. In addition to being a really good friend, Mike is a trusted advisor and supporter. A few years into my job, I was diagnosed with cancer. And Mike was, again, one of the people in my inner circle that I went to for advice to say, how should I handle announcing this to my clients? Everything that we do is about people, dealing with people. It is relationship. Relationships are the most important thing that you're going to ever have in life. And Mike has built the bank and his career on forming strong and positive relationships. Uh, a lot of banks talk about relationship, uh, but what they really are referring to is they want to have as much of your personal finances or your business finances as possible. For us, relationship, it's very personal. It's one-on-one -on -one basis. We are people dealing with people. Customers have entrusted uh, their relationships with us. They're counting on us. Uh, we will do everything within our power to make sure that we deliver value. At York Traditions Bank, culture is everything. The core values are fundamental to our culture. Those beliefs instill a sense of passion, of accountability, of commitment. What we've accomplished over 15 years I think is very significant, but I personally believe the next 15 years are going to be better than the first 15 years. For Mike to put his trust in me is so heartwarming. To take the organization into the future is something that I'm truly grateful. Mike, Jean, thank you for being trusted partners. Thank you for being so committed to the York County community. We need you, and we need others to follow your example and set the tone for the organizations and people who live here, because we live here too. We are committed to long-term success and have built depth and succession to have a positive impact on York County and our broader communities for the decades to come. Uh, I have the privilege to serve as founder and chairman of the board, Gene as president and CEO. Together, our executive management team brings over 200 years of experience and expertise. We are endeared and we are bonded by our core values. John Blecker serves as our COO, CFO, uh, and as original founder as well. Teresa Gregory is our Managing Director of Residential Mortgage and Consumer Lending Services. Mike Hussan as the Managing Director of Business Banking. Mark Poliski as our Chief Credit Officer. And Brad Willow as Managing Director of Personal Banking and Signature Banking. In addition to Gene and me, we have a dynamic board of eight independent directors. They all live here, their businesses are headquartered here, and they serve the community here. They are truly a local business and community leaders. We are a nimble organization that is planned and adapted to change, and our succession plan was built for the long haul. One person's face that's missing from our executive team is Carolyn Schaefer. She retired at the end of July. Carolyn helped build our retail division. She led the creation of her traditions. And while we miss her day-to-day -day leadership, we are most thankful that she continues to play an active role as the champion for our Her Traditions Women's Initiative. We're fortunate to have members of our team and board 
with us today. Would you please stand again? And will you help me thank them for their contribution, not only to the bank, but to the York community. Thank you. <clears throat> our vision and mission have served us and the market well from the very beginning. And our vision is to be the bank of choice for our target markets. The key words of our mission are locally owned and managed, relationship driven, helping businesses and individuals achieve their financial goals, delivering value to all stakeholders. Our six core values are the foundation of our success and they drive everything we do. We created them before we wrote our original business plan. They have sustained us and they define us with our associates, our customers, our communities, our shareholders, and frankly, anyone touched by the organization. The catalyst to start the bank in 2002 was the significant merger and acquisition activity that virtually eliminated all but a few of the local banks. It was a true privilege to put the stake in the ground in our hometown, creating a true local bank accountable to relationships, to provide exquisite customer service, and to serve our communities to the fullest. Fast forward and merger mania continues in our local markets today. We remain one of only two independent banks that are headquartered here in York County, and our value proposition has never been stronger. Fifteen years ago this Saturday, we started with a few key ingredients. Our vision, our mission, our core values, 13 courageous associates, $9.7 million in capital that we raised right here from the local community, and a branch at 235 St. Charles Way. These ingredients form the foundation to build a great local bank. Like any startup business, the early years were about building a base of relationships. We turned a profit in 34 months, had our first full profitable year in 2006, and an absolute breakout year in 2007. The sky was the limit. Not so fast. <laughs> I probably don't need to remind you what happened in 2008. The economy entered its darkest period since the depression of the 30s. We didn't know what huge negative news of business and large financial organization failures would be announced each day. A recession hit that stagnated business for the next five years and some of those effects still <coughs> linger today. Bank failures became commonplace with over 800 bank closures just in these last eight years. Even more significant, the consolidation within the industry since our inception. During our 15 year history, the number of banks and savings institutions have shrunk an amazing 39% across the nation and nearly 45% right here in Pennsylvania. We know all about <coughs> adversity. We developed our business plan during 911 and opened the following year. We made tough organizational decisions back in 2008 and we have faced the most extended low rate environment in history. Yet we have continued to thrive and grow and are on target to achieve our 12th consecutive profitable year. How have we built the bank for today, tomorrow and beyond? One relationship at a time, driven by our core values, bringing value and seeking value from every relationship with every stakeholder. I've provided a quick snapshot review of our history, some of the challenges and the foundation of the bank, and now Gene is gonna cover the things that drive our success today and going forward. Thanks, Mike, and good afternoon, fellow Rotarians. It may sound, I can't speak already, it may sound cliche, but our primary strength is without a doubt our people, our culture, 
grounded in our core values, has enabled us to attract the best associates. Whether we consider our executive management team, board of directors, wealth management alliance partners, or any of our associates, we are surrounded by talented people dedicated to serving our stakeholders now and in the future. We have a changing workforce that is becoming more diverse. At the beginning, the majority were baby boomers with decades of banking experience. Now, our associates are approaching an equal weighting of millennials, Gen Xers, and baby boomers. Mentoring and development of our people is an important aspect of our future growth. We provide fantastic support to the community, positively impacting hundreds of organizations with our time, talents, and money. Since our inception, we've contributed over $1.2 million in philanthropic giving. The familiar names listed on this slide are just a few of the beneficiaries. Relationships with the community extend beyond the nonprofit world. We have many other long-term alliances with groups like York Revolution through Eventive, a five-year strategic partnership with the York Builders Association as presenting sponsor of the annual Home and Garden Show and Parade of Homes, and an ongoing relationship with York's young professionals. In recognition of the importance of this segment of our business community, last year, in tandem with RKL, we co-sponsored the first Building Future Leaders of York County Conference and we have committed to it again in 2018. Jumping now to quality management. Bank success is dependent upon managing risk. As an industry, it's our business. At York Traditions Bank, we work hard to be a premier manager of risk, but not at the expense of providing responsive quality service to our clients. For us, quality management is equal to strategic growth in importance. We've been a Bauer-recommended financial institution for the past decade. Our invested service quality principles define the service experience that we strive to deliver to every customer of the bank. They apply not only to our clients, but to each other as well. In 2002, we started with one branch located at St. Charles Way and have expanded to five locations covering York and Hanover. And on August 22nd, we announced our intentions to open a downtown York branch at the corner of North George and West Philadelphia Streets, opening in 2018. In addition to our five branches, we have our 28,000 square foot Tradition Center Headquarters, which also serves as our administrative offices, located at Pauline Drive. All lending functions and operations are serviced from here. We're committed to the latest technology to enable us to serve customers when, where, and how they choose. A few examples include Pop Money, which allows people-to-people -people electronic fund transfers, personal mobile deposit, and card valet, which is a free mobile app which allows our customers to protect their debit cards. In January of 2010, we launched our in-house residential mortgage division, which has grown from two to over 20 best-in-class associates. The local real estate community has embraced our common sense, relationship-oriented approach that, most importantly, is processed by bankers who are trusted to deliver excellent and responsive service. We've been the largest originator of residential mortgages in all of York County for the past three years, processing $188 million this past year. More importantly, we've helped thousands of York County families realize their home purchase dreams. Enrich U reflects our commitment to provide financial education to
to the entire county. Programs on topics such as enhancing your credit score, <coughs> fraud prevention for businesses, or safe banking for seniors distinguish the bank as a great resource for learning. In 2016, we launched a new division known as Signature Banking, our version of private banking, to provide high-touch, personalized financial solutions to, to individual clients with complex goals that may include loans, deposits, and investments. Wealth management services are offered through our alliance partners, including the Sides Group of RBC Wealth Management and Haverford Trust. Brad Willow leads the team of Michael Haiti and Gina Hennice. While we are a full service community bank that provides products and services that appeal to everyone, we especially distinguish ourselves in serving the unique needs of our niche markets, encompassing professional women, young professionals, small businesses, medical and dental professionals, and nonprofits. Her Traditions is a great example of the way we build personal relationships, one at a time, distinguishing ourselves through financial education, networking opportunities, insight into financial personalities, and having fun. We're fortunate to have Carolyn continue to lead this initiative. The bank sponsors many of the important programs within our community that support women. The Women's Business Center organization, Turning Point Counseling, and others. This year, we became the presenting sponsor of the York County Economic Alliance Athena program. We are blessed to have a number of Athena award winners as part of our team, including Carolyn Schaefer, Liz Dellinger, and board members Dr. Wanda Filer and Betty Carson. So we've taken you through a brief history of the growth of York Traditions Bank, starting from the vision to where we are today, almost 15 years later. As this chart shows, we've impressively grown to 436 million in assets, with deposits of 355 million and loans of more than 341 million. We've continued our path of profitability, achieving a record 2.9 million in net income in 2016. Earnings performance drives value for all of our stakeholders, with book value per share growing to $15.86 at September 30th, 2017. New York Tritions Bank trades on the OTC pink under the ticker symbol YRKB. We just recently raised $10 million through a private placement to support our, our continued growth as we look ahead. So what are our plans for the future? To remain independent, to continue to attract and retain the very best people to expand our presence and market share across York, Hanover, and surrounding areas, particularly within our target markets, to maximize convenience for our customers by expanding our mobile and digital services and enhancing our branch experience by integrating the newest technology with our distinctive personal touch, and to remain faithful stewards <coughs> and leaders for our communities. Some of you are customers. Thank you for entrusting your banking relationship with us. All of you are community leaders and partners. Thank you for enabling us to enjoy the quality of life here in York County. At this point, I'm going to ask Mike to join me, and if we have a minute or so, probably two minutes, <laughs> more than a couple of hours. Uh, if there's any questions, we'd be happy to tackle them. Otherwise, any questions? Easy. Oh. Oh. Well, Mike, I, I, I have a question for you. You touched on it, but it's really what intrigued me in coming here today. And that is, how do you start a bank? <laughs> I mean, I can envision starting, I don't know, a retail store or something like that. But how do you start a bank? 
So I think there's a kind of, take me, if you will, yeah. step by step through. You said why you wanted to do it, but how did you do it? Yeah. Okay. Great, uh, great question. How do we start? How do you start May? Sure. Yeah. Probably don't need it, but I'll use it. Um, we were a little different than uh, most of the startup banks. In fact, before we opened, we visited uh, 18 other banks that had opened uh, over the course of uh, 10 previous years. So part of it is making sure you're getting grounded on what worked and what didn't work for others. You don't need to reinvent everything. We were a little different in that, uh, in many cases, the banks that we visited with indicated that local business people were kind of tired of the change and wanted to have a local bank, so they came together, pulled their assets, and identified some bankers to help do that. We were four bankers that decided we wanted to do this in our hometown, and then we went out with our business plan to seek uh, the support of business leaders that, uh, that ultimately became a part of, uh, of, of organizing the bank. Uh, having those key advisory partners, just like we talked to our customers, are key. Having uh, that, uh, that accounting firm that was behind you, having uh, a law firm uh, that could support you, and the partnership with the regulators. Uh, as much as uh, they get in our way uh, in, uh, in, in some ways, they were a tremendous asset and resource for us. They were an advocate for community banking, and so we worked through that uh, with them. So we were fortunate that we had four founders who represented every discipline of banking. So uh, we never opened a bank before, but we knew the business inside and out, and that gave us a strength to start with. Uh, and uh, our core values, uh, honestly, I mean, before we took a flip chart, we were out on the patio of one of our founders, and we crafted that up because the business aspect of this, we knew would come together. We believed in it. We knew the banking business, and it was a matter of having that foundation that was set uh, to get us to that place. So. Uh, we certainly hit some curves along the way, but we were really ready for the adversity and grounded on the knowledge that we had, the base of expertise, the support of the local community uh, helped us through uh, all the way, all the way along. So that's uh, kind of how we did it. Another question? Yes. about the challenges at a community bank of, of your size, uh, just in general, as well as your tradition specifically, the, the challenges associated with remaining independent in today's market. We're going to take turns, I guess. Uh, the, uh, I'm anxious to hear what Jets you know, I'll tell you really, it, 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 so the question is, I'm just going to try to paraphrase, but how do you remain independent as a community bank, as a small player? Is that, is that a fair? Okay. Uh, really, uh, it, you know, it comes down to a number of things. One is you have to be able to grow. You have to be able to build scale. Uh, you have to have profitable growth. So growth without profitability is, is wasted growth, right? Uh, but for us, it comes down to to a commitment to those things we talked about, the, the core values, the culture, our service quality commitment, and delivering uh, exceptional experiences for our client base. And, and if we're able to, to, and I like to liken it to, uh, and that could go on for hours probably on this, but it was, I, you know, you have to have satisfied associates who provide exceptional service to your clients, uh, the clients buy more than we can support our stake, our other stakeholders, which include our shareholders, our community, our suppliers, and uh, and for us, it's uh, it's a matter of I mean it's it's sticking to our mission, sticking to our vision, executing flawlessly, and uh, and continuing to grow. Because growth is really very critical. Can I just uh, add on the uh, on the core values front because uh, it's a, an interesting your question kind of begs. Uh, sharing with you that we changed the design of our core value uh, uh, design uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, we had the traditional lined up core values and it really caused uh, people to ask what's more important. Number one, that is creating relationships, built on honesty, respect and trust, or is it number six that was uh, having outstanding financial performance. Uh, and uh, 
what we realized and what we've always realized is that uh, you need to earn the right to remain independent on an ongoing basis. And for our associates, that first core value without the last core <coughs> value as it was uh, is not sustainable. Uh, so uh, we really have to commit to doing the people things right, but we also have to commit as an organization across our associate base to make sure we're delivering on financial performance to sustain uh, this environment that we endear ourselves to. Guy tells me we have room for maybe one more short question. Brian. Uh, Mike and Gene, thanks so much for the announcement not too long ago about the downtown branch. Is there anything you can tell us about the downtown branch? We all know that the uh, majestic uh, buildings of the past, the downtown uh, banks, aren't necessarily uh, the style of yeah, uh, it's, it certainly will be uh, unlike anything we've opened before in terms of a branch. Uh, uh, the old the old bank branches are the kind of the, the marble and coliseum type places, and it's not going to be like that. Uh, but uh, uh, what I say is stay tuned, and uh, as uh, the, the ensuing months take us through into uh, 2018, we'll, we'll certainly reveal more information and. And uh, thanks for the question. Uh, <laughs> and and we, were, we will be happy to stay. If, if you want me to elaborate on that, Brian, I'll, I'll stay later. All right. <laughs>